On the Salvadoran coastline is the small town of San Marcito, where pools are built into the cliffside. At high tide, the waves crash into the pools, refreshing the water. If you want to get into the pools, be sure to go at high tide. We missed high tide our first walk, but we were able to enjoy it later with our beer and our backpacker friends we originally met in Guatemala. Instead of stopping at the pools, we decided to walk to a deserted beach. Sombrita loved running around with the coconut. Okay. El Salvador beaches are becoming more popular for world-class surf spots. The government has built new roads to the beaches, and when we renewed our visas, the official even said to write down surfing as a reason why we wanted to stay longer. We camped at a super friendly family hostel called Hammock Plantation while we were in Palmarcito. They had a pool and only a couple minute walk to the beach. On certain days, there's even a fruit and veg truck that comes around, a perfect place to spend some downtime. One town over from Palmarcito is a sweet skate park Danny was able to ride. The beach is fun, but we're always on the lookout for cool mountain air. We headed for Alegria Crater. It will become one of our favorite campsites in El Salvador. Two kilometers, steep, bumpy cobblestone. As soon as we got to the crater, Danny helped some locals fill up a flat, using our air compressor for the first time. Camping in a crater! So different from any other campsite we've stayed. It's one US dollar per person and one dollar for the van to stay there. Alegria Crater is so peaceful. Relaxing while watching the lake was a perfect morning. Without too many people around, we decided it was a safe place to take our pets for a walk around the crater. The loop around the crater lake was only a mile or one and a half kilometers. We went in the afternoon so the sun wasn't too strong. Just has to dig. Oh, dig some more. Graham was originally a house cat, but acclimated to van life fast, especially now that he gets tons of outside time with us. Nice and shady here for the little guy. Better outside. A nice soccer field here. In the crater. Right there. Oh, this is a ton of firewood. You can have plenty of fires. Only costs three dollars to camp here. This part looks like the more volcanic origin story.
walk wasn't very far, so we took our time, taking breaks to let Graham eat some grass or watch some breather run back and forth. Our travel cat lets us know when he wants to be picked up and carried around for a little bit. Sombrita is from Baja California Sur, Mexico. She was found only a couple months old, all alone at a dump. Her name means little shadow. Since she's Mexican and I wanted to practice my Spanish, we only talk to her in Spanish. All of her tricks and commands are in Spanish. In the beginning, speaking in Spanish with her helped me build my confidence. Now it's fun when people think we're locals talking to our pets in their language. What's up? Do it, Grammy. You jump out. Good boy. <laughs> Sometimes the cat just wants to enjoy the place we are. Slow down. <laughs> Stay in the shade. The dog wants to come and look at you. Danny was able to swim in the crater lake. It was a little too cold for me. It feels crazy to say I was cold in El Salvador. We thought we'd always be hot this far south. But those mountains always call our names. <laughs> Is it sticky? I'm a band on, but they look like aqua sucks. <laughs> This crazy travel cat has eaten grass in five countries and 46 U.S. states. Sombrita's favorite thing to do is to run for sure. She could run forever. She loves it whenever we find a good field for her or go on a bike ride. Wow, run, 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 corre, corre, corre. As the sun started to set, we all headed back for the van. The perfect day at this cool crater lake. Sube, 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 buena chica. Muy bien.